my topic rather some relations with the previous instructional course my topic is i welcome you in my topic refractive surprise over expected refraction after lasik in high myopia most of the refractive surgeons i think they have encountered these situations which i have encountered in few cases first few talks regarding lasik lasik has drastically emerged as a modality for the correction of refractive error it is currently the most frequently performed refractive surgery all over the world expectations are growing high and high moreover results are excellent in most cases lasik provide expected magic vision sometimes patient become more happy than expectations uncorrected visual acuity sometimes becomes more than the preoperative best corrected visual acuity that is the surprise the surgical outcome of lasik are safe and predictable the purpose of this study was to evaluate the ultimate refraction over expected correction after lasik in high myopia we conducted a retrospective review of case notes and patient's opinion for ultimate refractive status in post lasik patients by multiple surgeons between july 2016 and june 2018 our main outcome measures were preoperative refraction corneal thickness and postoperative refraction and corneal thickness and dry eye follow up period was first day first week first month three months and six months you see this is one of the scenario all of you know the very early stages of lasik most of the cases nowadays it has superseded by so many modern procedures so i don't want to go for the details of this one improvement of visual acuity in logmar after 6 months you see pre operative best corrected visual acuity was 0.3 and post operative uncorrected visual acuity was 0.18 and this is another picture is showing the animation of modern refractive surgery that is femtosecond laser assisted lasik a total of 46 eyes of 24 patients were included in this in this study among those eight patients showed refractive surprise the main age was 24 all patient had uncomplicated lasik surgery mean preoperative best corrected visual acuity was logmar 0.3 with mean corneal thickness of 526 micron range of refractive error was minus 8 to minus 11 with some portion of astigmatism among 46 patients eight patients were underwent under correction due to the thin cornea i repeat the corneal condition was not suitable to perform the full correction and these eight patient reveals post operative better uncorrected visual acuity than pre operative bcva and that was the surprise actually in this those cases i will show two of the case case report we offered that we cannot go for the full correction your corneal thickness doesn't permit and we offered them for the alternate options like facic iwl or clear lens extraction but the patient did not accept none of them they offered they were convinced to do the lasik and they ultimately agreed to do go for the under correction mean post operative uncorrected visual acuity at 6 months was logmar 1.18 and mean corneal thickness was 346 i repeat i am a little bit conservative regarding the residual corneal thickness significant dry eye was persisted after 6 months in 8 which was treated with artificial tear corneal haze was in one case which was not clinically significant this is case number 1 this patient was a corporate executive lady her refractive error was minus 8.75 with cylinder 
and in the left eye minus 9.25 and best corrected visual acuity was 69 and 612 respectively and her pachymetry was 524 k1 and k2 accordingly this patient I offered that I cannot go for the full correction and the patient opted okay she will remain with some degree of under correction and we have done two under correction for this patient and these are the pre prelastic evaluations all were with a normal limit and what happens actually postoperatively you see uncorrected visual acuity was 69 in right eye and 612 in the left eye the we, uh, we we told that you will remain minus 2 after correction and your visual acuity may be 636 or 660 like that but uh, surprisingly her visual acuity was such and she's doing well she is very happy this is another one you see minus 8 and minus 1.5 cylinder in 30 degree and the left eye BCB was 69 with minus 10.5 and this patient had also a pachymetry of such a critical so we could not offer her the full correction I offered her either go for ICL or you go for clearance extraction and patient was to some extent convinced that she will go for LASIK and she is a nurse of my institution she opted for under correction she was under corrected about 1.5 and you see after after stable condition the uncorrected visual acuity was 69 in both eyes then while improvement in the postoperative uncorrected visual acuity may be the ultimate goal of the patient a 2020 vision may also leave the patient unsatisfied due to substandard quality of the vision the motivation of the patient behind undergoing procedure may also play a, an important role in deciding the post-surgical satisfaction the incidence of dry eye varies from as less as 9% to even 70% this dry eye usually persists for a period of three to six months depending upon the preoperative status of the tear film and some study concluded that significant dry eye persisted at least a month after LASIK surgery the visual satisfaction in patients was 95% while 98% confirmed improved quality of vision. A literature search was conducted retrospectively from 1988 to 2008 by Solomon et al. regarding the outcome of LASIK. Out of 16.3 million procedures performed worldwide, 95.4% worldwide, of the patients were satisfied after the surgery. Night vision problem and glare and halos is a common for dissatisfaction. Parallel results was encountered in other studies also. So, major of the majority of the patient were highly satisfied in terms of functional gain and visual outcome after the procedure after LASIK. Under correction due to corneal thinness may also provide better output. A smooth, uneventful surgery may give better satisfactory refra refractive outcome than expectation after LASIK in myopia and that is the refractive surprise.